Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red episode 42, I believe? Alright, in the last episode we got here to Island 4, the fourth island of the Sevi Islands, and now we are going to go into Icefall Cave where Lorelei seems to be here. Now there are three new Pokemon that you can find here in Icefall Cave and you absolutely need Rock Smash and Strength. Uh, I don't think you need Strength actually, you definitely need Rock Smash and you need Surf to get through this area. So let's take a look at the Pokemon that we can find here. Three new Pokemon. So the first Pokemon that we're going to be looking at here in Icefall Cave is Swinub. Swinub is available in both versions of the game at a 50% encounter rate. It is a weird Pokemon, it's an Ice Ground type, and it actually has an evolution that you can't get here, but you can, of course, evolve Swinub at level 33 into number 221, Piloswine, an Ice Ground type. That's very interesting. Uh, it has some weaknesses, though, that's for sure, with that type of typing. Its stats are pretty decent. It doesn't have the best special attack, doesn't have the best special defense. Don't even look at its speed because it doesn't matter. That HP though is pretty good, that attack is pretty good, and that physical defense is pretty good, so it's going to be able to stand up to some things. I just don't think that that typing really works for it right now. However, it does have an evolution in future generations that is just really good. It's a really great evolution. So, if you wanted to pick up a strange, unique typing, that we will be seeing later on in the game, by the way. We will be battling this particular Pokemon. Uh, Piloswine is definitely unique. Definitely unique. So pick up a Swinub. You'll definitely uh, run into them if you're not using any repels. The next Pokemon that we'll look at is exclusive to Fire Red. And I'm so sorry, you Fire Bread... Bread... You Fire Bread users. <laughs> this is Delibird, an Ice Flying type. In a game where you can get Articuno. It has two abilities, Vital Spirit, meaning it can't be put to sleep, and Hustle. Delibird's attack damage is multiplied by 1.5, but average accuracy is only 80%. Uh, it's not that useful. It's not that useful. Delibird's not that good. I will say that it's a very interesting looking Pokemon. It's very clearly supposed to be Santa Claus. That bag that it's carrying behind it, that's actually its tail that it's holding, uh, which is super interesting. Now, it does have a, uh, a pretty low encounter rate of 5% in Fire Red, and this is where I do believe that you Leaf Green users went out because you get access to the incredibly fast, uh, relatively hard-hitting Sneasel. That Ice Dark type is really going to help it out. It has that inner focus, uh, which I think is better than Keen Eye, although it doesn't totally matter. It's, I guess it depends on what your... Um, what you want, I suppose. It is very interesting because of that 95 attack stat that it just can't capitalize on ice or dark type attacks in this generation. Future generations, this thing becomes amazing. The next generation, it gets an evolution that just is so good. So good, I love it. Uh, it's Pokedex entry. Vicious in nature, it drives Pidgey from their nest and feast on the eggs that are left behind. I just kind of think that's cool. There's no Pidgeys around here. There's no Pidgeys near Icefall Cave at all. So it's very interesting that it's in an, in an area where its primary food source isn't. It's just weird. So if you want this physical attacker, with fast physical attacker, pick it up. It's not that great yet, but in future generations, it's going to blow your mind. All right, well, let's continue uh, into actually, you know, exploring Icefall Cave and trying to find the secrets of this place. Now, up here, uh, we can't go any further. You'll see that there's actually a waterfall here. A wall of water is crashing down with a mighty roar. That's unfortunate. Looks like we can't get there. I guess we have to go in here. All right, so this is the real entrance to the Icefall Cavern. We can't get that item just yet, but soon. Now, it's worth mentioning that the puzzle here is if you step on these things, you're allowed to step on them once. If you step, step on them twice, it's all over. So what we can do is we can actually go like that, get that. If you step on them again, you will fall through. You don't want to do that right away. Uh, I'm going to be using this to see what we can do. And then we'll go here. Look at that. Easy peasy. Oh, looks like we have to choose which one to fall through. Uh, and I believe we want to step on this one. I believe is the way that we wanted to do that. That will, yes. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, and now we need to, I wanted to use that real quick. Uh, obviously, we can't actually go anywhere from here. Like, no matter where we go, we're going to get hit. So, we have to just walk off. Um, so, we'll have to use this ladder to go up one floor. Which will bring us to the other side here. We'll go ahead and skip that. And I think the one that we want to step on... I know what I know what the problem is here. So, we'll step on this. This will bring us down. And we will be able to land here. And then here. And then we'll be... There we go. I was, uh, I was being stupid. Okay. Um, get used to that. Okay. 
Now, obviously, if we step at all from where we are right now, the only choice we have is to go back up, which is great. That's exactly what we want to do. And now we actually want to go and step on this southernmost uh, ice patch here. That will break us through and bring us down into here. Now, from here, we want to go uh, up. And then I'm pretty sure we want to go over and then down. And that will lead us to this area. Um, and then we'll go there. Perfect. Perfect. So we... Oops. Not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this item right here, which is full restore. Now, the one item that we absolutely need to grab in this area is going to be HMO7 Waterfall. This is super important. You need Waterfall to get through this area. So let's go ahead and teach that to one of our Pokemon. Now, Waterfall is actually a, a really good HM, surprisingly. It's an 80 base, um, 80 base power with a 100 accuracy pretty good it can also be used to climb a waterfall now eventually this move will become a physical move which is wonderful we are going to see if poseidon wants to learn this um now i wouldn't i wouldn't totally recommend doing this but we are going to get rid of quick attack for waterfall and that's just because we'll be able to teach her waterfall or him i should say uh we'll be able to teach him waterfall later so something that i'm curious about is I want to see where this will lead us if I if I use that right there uh, that will lead us down into this area uh, which we couldn't go get into before so I just thought I would show that um, which will lead us right here so not a huge deal and we'll just go boom and all right so we're almost through Icefall Cave it's a super super short dungeon so and now we can use our dear old Vaporeon it's a large waterfall but yes and perhaps the best animation in the game That's it. I just thought that was fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, there is an item, if I'm not mistaken. Is there no items over here? Am I am I crazy? How many times am I going to be totally wrong? All right. So we'll go ahead and climb down here. Uh, and we are back to even more of a puzzle. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did I do wrong here? Oh, right. I Duh. I went down instead of going right here. So we need to go into the actual Icefall Cave and look who it is! It's Lorelei! Keep your filthy hands off the Pokemon in the cave. Do as I say, or you'll have me to answer to. Uh, shut it, lady, and leave us be. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Cory, what are you doing here? No, we can catch up later. Right now, I need your help. Help me kick these poachers out before they do anything else. They've been catching Pokemon here, then selling them off. Are you ready? The Celadon department store has been doing that for a very long time. Like, like, Pokemon being sold is a very common thing. Who says we can't do what we want with the Pokemon we catch? That's a really good point, honestly. Like, people trade Pokemon all the time. Why not trade them for money, too? Whatever. Anyways, he's going to lead with a Zubat. Obviously, we're just going to finish him off with a Thunderbolt because we're so strong. And another Zubat. And I'm pretty sure his last Pokemon is going to be a Golbat. Again, a Thunderbolt will be able to finish it because they are such low level. I don't actually know why they're so low level right now. You tell me, where have you taken the captured Pokemon? I'm smashing your ring once and for all. Actually, we already destroyed their ring. No way, I'm not telling you that. If you won't confess, we'll deep freeze you. My Lapras is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go Lapras, Ice Beam! Yeah. Yeah, a Lapras just attacked a human. That's fine. The Pokemon are in the Rocket Warehouse on Five Island. There, I said it. We'll be going now. But I doubt you'll ever make it into the Rocket Hideout. <laughs> Corey, thank you, but this is awful. I was born and raised here on these islands. I had no idea that those horrible criminers, criminal criminers, were loose here. All right, so we found Lorelei, and right here is a little, a little, a little surfing area that we can, we can check out. Uh, it's not actually going to lead us to anything, but it's interesting that it's here. You know why it's here? Let me show you real quick. Let me show you. That's right. You can catch Lapras here. It is a 1% encounter rate, so this took me a very long time to find, but we were able to get one. Uh, this is the only place in the game where you can catch wild, uh, wilds. Oh my god, Wild Lapras this is the only place in the game. Uh, all effective Pokemon will faint in three turns, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, but that, that should be okay. We're going to hit it with a quick attack. Um, I'm thinking that Brick break, break will probably kill it. So its perish count is now down to one. So we're going to hope that uh, we can use an Ultra Ball and catch it. Uh, unfortunately, so we're going to die. Um, and I thought... Uh, and Lapras is going to die. So that's the shitty part about trying to catch a Lapras here. It's a 1% encounter rate. And if it uses Perish Song and you aren't able to catch it, well, you're just shit out of luck. A much easier thing that you could do if you want more Laprases is you can take that Lapras that you got given to you. And you can actually just you know, bring it to the daycare center with a ditto and you'll have an egg. If you want more, if you want more Laprases. 
All right, let's continue on with our adventure and actually leave the Icefall Cave, which we can which we can now do. Uh, and we will be heading, uh, even though we now know that the rocket base is located on the fifth island, we need another password to get in. We only have Goldie Need Log. Uh, that's the only one that we have so far. So you could, uh, let's go restore our health. So we need to head instead to the sixth island, uh, where we can kind of, uh, hopefully, maybe, possibly, even, maybe, get that, uh, that password. Alright, where do we want to go? We want to go to other, we want to go to six islands. We're gonna skip over five islands for now, and head straight to sixth, sixth island. I think that's a good idea. Uh, so we find ourselves here on Six Island, which is actually pretty cool. Six Island, Fortune Island of Age Wisdom. Uh, there are some stuff we can do here. When you're this far away from the city, the sky at night is fantastic. Uh, keep going this way and you'll get to the water path. Stay on that and you'll get to the Ruin Valley. That's worth, worth mentioning. Uh, the Mart isn't going to have anything totally new for us, but obviously anytime we come to a new thing, we'd like to kind of explore and see what they have here. There's nothing that young people find exciting here on this island, but this is a good place in terms some nature and history relax and enjoy your stay so there's nothing us young people will enjoy here so let's just leave screw it screw it no there are some trainers actually that we can that we can uh see here now there is an item right up here which is a lepo berry not a big deal but it is a, a hidden item that you can find if you so choose uh we will go and look inside the pokemon mart just to like see and talk to everybody because that's kind of what we do i should buy some mail and write him a letter who me uh, play with Pokemon lots and live a long life. Take Agatha. She set a record for being the oldest ever Elite Four member. That's very cool. That's very cool. And right here we can buy some stuff. Nothing new except Dream Mail. Uh, but again, mail's like not a thing. Like I don't know why people even use it and why it was a th why it's a thing. But whatever. People do what they do. Oh no. Freezing. Hey, Cory, how's your Pokedex filling up? It looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokemon by hanging around just these parts. Maybe there are Pokemon we don't know about somewhere far away. Well, if I can't do it, there's no way for you to get it done. I'm not going to get all desperate over this. I'll keep collecting Pokemon at my own pace while I train them. That's what I'll do. So there's no point staying here. I may as well leave for home. That's that then. Smell you later. So he's gone. That's it. Like, he's just gonna go home now because he thinks, he thinks there's no possible way that we can catch him. But did you know that there are other Pokemon that will do other things while uh, holding specific items? For 10 years, I've searched for ruins. No, make that 20 years. I get this feeling that there's something hidden on this island. You ain't wrong, dude. You ain't wrong. All right, so that was a little scene that we can get with Freezen. Um, and that's one of the few things that you can actually see here in that way. So right here is Water Path. Before we end this video of the water path right here, let's make sure that we go ahead and grab this item uh, and not deal with this Meowth. We can go ahead and grab this Pinap Berry. Uh, I believe that's the only item that's here right now. And also, let's go over the Pokemon that you can find here on the water path. All right, Pokemon that we can find here on Water Path. Centret, Centret number 161 in the Pokedex. It is the Rattata, the Pidgey, the, uh, the whatever, the beginning Pokemon that you can capture, the one of the first Pokemon that you can catch in Gen 2 uh, that we can find right here. It evolves at a very low level of 15 into Furret, which is not available here. Centret does have a 30% encounter rate, so keep that in mind. Let's look at Furret, though. It's evolved form. Wonderful, wonderful HM slave that can learn moves like Surf and Cut and Strength, I believe. Uh, it does have the two abilities, Run Away or Keen Eye. Uh, I would just say Keen Eye if you're using this in battle, Run Away if you're not, because who cares? Uh, there is no telling where its tail begins. Despite its short legs, it is quick at hunting Radita. Uh, I actually really enjoy for it. I think it's pretty decent. Its stats aren't that great, but that speed is going to help it out. That HP is going to help it out. It's kind of bulky in that sense. Uh, and it has a reasonable attack stat. Um, it's not like the best Pokemon, and I don't really like recommend it for a team or anything, but it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool if you feel like picking it up. Now, Pokemon that you can get fishing here, uh, in Fire Red, using a Super Rod, you can catch a Quillfish. This is virtually Tentacool's little brother, if you will. Uh, it does have two abilities in Swift Swim and Poison Point. If you do have a Rain Dance team, that Swift Swim is great. Uh, if you don't, that Poison Point is great. Uh, catch rate is only 45. That encounter rate is huge, though, so you'll be able to find it Water Poison type, just like Tentacool. So the same rules apply when it comes to resistances. It's resistant to a lot. And the, t uh, the stats aren't that bad, either. You're going to want to be focusing on physical attacks. Um, in later, with certain move pools, this thing becomes... What, uh, just a surprise Pokemon, like an incredibly surprise Pokemon um, that 
isn't that good on paper, but is good in practice. Next, we will look at you Leaf Green users. 40% encounter rate, encounter rate with a Super Rod is Rima Raid. Rima Raid is lucky because it does have an evolution. Now, its ability changes when it evolves, so let's go ahead and look at its evolution. Its evolution is Octillery, number 224 in the Pokedex. This Pokemon is not available in the game. You have to evolve a Rima Raid. But it does have the ability Suction Cups. Octillery cannot be forced out of battle by opponent. Uh, that's pretty good if you're using this in battle to, like, set up, uh, especially competitively. And its stats make it a really great mixed attacker. Uh, and it has decent bulk, too, to be able to take hits. But that speed is where it really hinders it. Octillery also has an incredible move pool. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really capitalize on that too much right now, you, uh, but you will be able to hit things relatively hard with Surf and, and, and Hydro Pump and Bubble Beam or whatever you're using. You'll be able to still hurt things. So I recommend picking up a Rima Raid if you don't have a Water type, but also we're in the post game, so like I don't even know if I should be telling you to pick stuff up anymore. And we caught a Sentrit of our own! Oh my god, Sentrit's data was added to the Pokedex. This is actually a really good uh, HM sleeve. It stands on its tail so it can see a long way. If it spots an enemy, it cries loudly to warn its kind. It's a cool Pokemon. Um, Gen 2, obviously, it's one of the most, it's basically the Rattata, the Rattata of the uh, Gen 2. There's also, obviously, the Pokemon that we can catch with fishing, so I'm gonna do that real quick too. And we got a Quillfish. All right, so we've caught all the Pokemon that we can catch right here. The small spikes covering its body develop from scales. They inject a toxin that causes fainting. Terrible, terrible Pokemon. Uh, now, obviously, like I said in the bio, I'm jealous of you Leaf Green users because you get an actual good Pokemon, whereas I get trash. Now, there is an item right here below that we can grab as well, so let's, uh, let's see if we can grab that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, we don't need to worry about a level 44 Spearow. That's redonkulous. And, uh, and a Sperberry. Cool. Um, now, I'm trying to think if there are areas that we can go to while surfing here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that there aren't. Even though it looks like... Hang on, let me just see. It looks... We can go down here. I'm... I, okay, I was wrong. We can get a Dragon Scale. A Dragon Scale is super needed. Uh, that is how you get Seedra's Evolved Form Kingdra. You now have access to Kingdra if you um, if you trade. If you trade while Seedra is holding that item, uh, you will get the one and only, the beautiful Kingdra, which is a Water Dragon type Pokemon. Uh, that is not that different from any other Pokemon. So let's go up here. Oh, I did not mean to fight her, but we'll go ahead and take her down. She has a Chinchou, uh, which is unfortunate because that means that it has um, a, if this is a Water Electric type. It's a wonderful Pokemon. And Lantern, it's Evolved Form. I absolutely love Lantern. I think its typing is wonderful. Um, one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. So I think it's awesome that we just got to fight one and see it in our Pokedex. Another trim. Now, these trainers are actually worth fighting. Uh, and goodbye, you level 50 Gyarados. Uh, these trainers are actually worth fighting because they have high-level Pokemon. And Pokemon that you haven't seen before. Which is, uh, which is awesome, right? Um, especially if you've never played Gen 2 or any other Gen. It's pretty sweet to be able to see these Pokemon that you've never really seen. So, we are going to go in here and talk to this guy. Uh, my height is 67 inches on the button. I know it's, I know it's, is this precisely because my neighbor measured me. Well, that's a very weird thing to, that's weird. I just met you, dude. Like, what the hell? Uh, there's no items here. This is a very weird area right here because I feel like there should be something, you know what I mean? Like, it very much looks like that. So right here is a double battle. We can go ahead and fight these two Pikachus. Uh, we're gonna use Brick Break, and we are going to use, uh, Blast Burn. Just because I think it'll be fun to Blast Burn a Pikachu. And, uh, oh my god, we missed! Okay, that's fine, whatever. Uh, and we will take down both of them. And that's no big deal whatsoever. Uh, and right here, Wanted, the Ultimate Horn. The Ultimate Horn. What does that even mean? We can talk to her, Hera, Hera, Heracross. Big and shiny, it's the bug boss. Love it, need it, Heracross. So what she will do is you need to go and catch a Heracross, which is a Pokemon that I haven't talked to you guys about, uh, that we will talk about in the next episode. Uh, that is super strong, super great. Uh, basically, you need to catch one and show her one. I'm gonna fight all of these trainers in this video though, because I think that's going to be our best bet. Right there is some of the worst Pokemon in Pokemon in general. Uh, we will go ahead and take them out really quickly because I don't even wanna look at them. They're so ugly. Uh, Sunflora is one of the weakest Pokemon in the game. Um, that's just not my opinion. It's an objective fact. Its stats are the lowest. And its evolved form Sunflora is not much better. So right here, we are going to go ahead, use Surf, because as we have seen, there is an item right down here that we really, really want to get. Um, 
Or, you know, because I like to get items, not because it's very good. It's just an elixir. Uh, but I'm me, so we need to get it. All right. I knew I'd get into a random encounter. Oh, my God. I knew it. All right. Uh, um, so we are going to grab this item as well. An orin berry. Always good. Uh, and there are no other items here, which is very strange because it looks like there should be one, but there isn't. That's That seems to be the case for a lot of things. So this right here is the green path pattern bush ahead so in the next episode we will tackle the rest of the things that we can do here on six island thank you very much for watching and remember to never give up never surrender <laughs>